So, shifting the gear from a gut bacteria standpoint yes. is in terms of so people now know that okay, I'm going to eat high fiber. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's good for gut. But yes. at the same time, they have all these myths where uh, you know vegetables cooking yeah. this way, that way, yeah. it's going to take care of all, deprive all the nutrients, and yeah. I might not get any fiber at all. So the first myth I want to ask you yes. is I've asked them. They've asked me. I don't know the answer. Yes. So I put a pongal blog. Yes. In my native village. Correct. And my mom was cooking on a, I didn't realize it was an aluminium vessel. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And yes. uh, they were like, Dr. Pa, how can you have aluminium in your uh, kitchen? I really don't know. I was really, oh, maybe yeah. it's really. Then I typed in, is aluminium is. Yeah, yes. The first video come up was yours. <laughs> Good. At least that came up, no? Otherwise, mostly 99% of stuff will be aluminium will cause Alzheimer's diseases, what will come, right? The problem with the internet is that. It prioritizes the worst cases. So, I see. You know, right? As a I doctor, see, yeah, yeah. if you Google for symptoms, uh, first answer is cancer. Correct. <laughs> Headache also, brain cancer will be the first. <laughs> and that is the nature of how the internet works. But yeah, so first and foremost, I think, see, the um, aluminium is actually quite straightforward. So we, we've been using it for 150 years, mm -hmm. right? Ever. And uh, it is 8% of the Earth's crust. Mm -hmm. okay. It is the most abundant metal. Mm -hmm. And not only that, it is also remarkably, uh, so therefore it's remarkably cheap. Mm -hmm. now, right? uh, the second thing is it's also a great conductor of heat mm -hmm. right? compared to stainless steel, cast iron and mm -hmm. things like that. Right? So historically, this is a country that while it is becoming wealthier, it is still predominantly poor. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, for the most part, like my mother and all grew up only like your mom, aluminium is what she grew up with. Right? And so aluminium therefore you can save up to like 30-40% of your fuel cost if you are using aluminium, right? Because it is such a great conductor of heat, heat. Ah. right? Yeah. So, it gets hot very quickly and it loses heat very quickly, right? Um, and so, in many restaurants will often use that because they, for them, they have to cut costs. And Correct. All that, right? So, even in western kitchens, ah. right? you go to ultra fine dining Michelin star restaurants, the chefs will use aluminium pans for that fast grilling, you know, ah. of that meat and, the, and those kinds of things. They will quickly make it make, make it in that way and it will get damaged very quickly and they'll throw it because it's very cheap and they'll get another one then they'll replace it right so i think so the 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 a lot of myth essentially comes around the fact that uh, the people wrongly believe that it causes alzheimer's and all that. It, it, see uh, plaques in alzheimer's patients have shown to have aluminium in them okay the alzheimer's foundation they've they've clearly stated on their website that there is no connection between your dietary consumption of aluminium and that. See, because first and foremost, aluminium is everywhere. everywhere. Your body already has some of it. Beyond a certain amount, it is toxic, but your kidneys, your, if you have functioning kidneys, it's going to remove. But beyond a point, you can get overwhelmed, etc. And that's true of all metal toxicity, right? I mean, any other heavy metals or this in this case is not even heavy metal, right? But again, even too much iron consumption also can have a problem, right? So like that, but aluminium, that amount is much smaller. Copper also, by the way, right? But in Indians believe copper somehow is amazing. I think copper is also pretty toxic beyond a... So, but uh, they have copper vessels? I know. So, copper vessels, are but usually in the form of brass and other brass, uh, right? Yeah. Um, and less reactive. So, like even aluminium, what happens is that given our humid conditions, most aluminium will oxidize. Uh, and aluminium oxide is completely safe, right? It is not, not reactive at all, right? So, people, you are not ingesting much aluminium from your uh, food for 99% of cases. Which is why even in my video, I said out of abundance of caution, if you are cooking like a fish curry or a kodambu or something that is like super sour, and you're slow cooking it over long periods of time, the acid might leach some of the aluminium into your food. Mm -hmm. So, if you are like one of these urban people who has the privilege to say, no, that risk also I don't want to take, fine, go ahead, right? Otherwise, see, among other things like consuming more vegetables, consuming less food, uh, doing more exercise, this aluminium and all these things are like bottom of the really table. Really not worth uh, paying attention.